Hey you guys, we're back right here. We got Do You Talk Thai going on. We're gonna go with a green papaya salad. They call it Som Tham. Stick around because uh, we're about to get fresh with some Thai style papaya salad. Good paleo. Because the big thing here is the green papaya. Maybe you probably haven't worked with one before unless you've made this, but this is what they look like. They have them in most big chain grocery stores. We're gonna start off by peeling it. And I'm just gonna peel half, just like that. What we'd see at most of the, the markets and where they'd make this is they would do the same thing. Keep that half uh, sealed up with the peel until you're ready to use it, okay? From there, I have a couple different peelers that I've purchased. This is the more common one in Thailand. And what they'll do is they'll kind of hold it here and just pull. And we'll do a couple strips with this guy just so you can see. A little bit finer. This one's definitely sharper. And then one of the things I notice it clogs up if you're not careful, but this one doesn't always cut through. Overall right now, this baby is the star of the show. I'm gonna get a couple more pulls. Boom, and we'll call that good. Enough to get our salad going. Check this baby out. All right, another thing, uh, nice big clay Thai style mortar and pestle. They also make these out of wood. We start off with two long beans. Again, go to your Asian grocer to get these. They're essentially just long green beans. You get those in there, three cloves of garlic. One, two, three, and some chilies. We're gonna go with two, four, six of them. I'm gonna cut them across like this. Careful with your fingers, don't be scratching your eyes after this, we'll get that in there. And then we're gonna use a, the wooden pestle. We'll just kind of bash this up. Next in is gonna go the papaya. And once we have the papaya in there, we wanna bruise the papaya and kinda infuse, bash those flavors in, but we also need to scoop the flavors on top as we do that, okay? Kinda looks like this. All right. Just gonna kind of fold that in. Make sure we're doing what we, oh yeah, she's looking good. Okay, let's go with some shrimp. What I did is I just got some large dried shrimp and I threw them through the food processor. So maybe a little pinch of that, about like that much. Some fish sauce, again that's in most everything. Limes, look at all of that. Juice of one lime, now we're going back in. And with this, you can use, instead of papaya, you can use cantaloupe, carrots, cucumber. I recommend all that stuff. We didn't do it. I haven't done it yet, but I imagine it'd be pretty good. You know, get a cantaloupe that's, that's still green, not ripe yet, and you can make a similar style salad. What else we got? A little, usually they use palm sugar, I think it is. I'm just gonna use a little maple syrup. And then our tomato. Can't remember how they did it, but like I think you throw this away because it's bad luck or something like that. Here, here, here. And then on the wooden, it's kind of cool, on the wooden ones, I watched one guy use the edge of his mortar and pestle to cut his tomatoes, and then he just tossed them right in. And we'll just give that a couple bashes. We want to keep those tomatoes together. And the final thing, instead of peanuts, we're gonna throw some almonds. Got some toasted almonds in here. I plated this up here, we're gonna garnish with a couple little toasted almonds, just like that. All right, putting a little paleo twist on the Thai classic, Som Tam. I'm Paleo Nick, the spicy salad. It's looking kinda lonely, so stay tuned because we got chicken satay up next. As always, doing what I can to help you guys keep it paleo.